In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, Amen. Jesus, Mary, St. Joseph, St. Teresa, pray for us. And happy feast day of the Nativity of St. John the Baptist. He leapt in his mother's womb. So wonderful in that that verse from Isaiah today. I just love it. I was created in my mother's womb. He put the words in my mouth. So wonderful. St. Anthony, pray for us. You know, Let's pray daily for the tongue of St. Anthony. You know, it was incorrupt for a reason. Found incorrupt. I'm going to explain how to make spiced prune juice. And this is mostly, it can be for now, but mostly for the refuge builders. Spiced prune juice. And why do we need spiced prune juice? Well, first of all, I'm guessing with a lot of people in the refuge, there's going to be maybe more physical activity for some people, but for some people, there's going to be a lot of, maybe not as much physical activity. And we know with that comes, comes all the the um, issues, digestive issues of sedentary life, which isn't fun. So, I have my Sunsweet, it, I'm just reading it here, Sunsweet Amazon Amazing Prune Juice with a yellow wood. That means it has no pulp. I use the one that has no pulp because I find that prune juice with pulp can kind of it have the opposite effect. It can actually kind of weigh you down and kind of slow you down. So I like it without the pulp, but you can decide what works for you. I know everyone's a little different. But I take that, and the first thing I do is add some ground ginger. And it's really up to you how much or how little the ground ginger you would like to put in there. I kind of put a decent amount in there. But really, it's up to you. Then I take whole cloves, not ground cloves, whole cloves. And these are great if you have a toothache and stuff. It's kind of got a numbing uh, benefit for those who have toothaches, especially for the teeth. And it's kind of funny. It kind of looks like you'd put it up a, an empty tooth socket. <laughs> we look at it. It's kind of funny how things tend to look like what they do sometimes. But... Uh, you know, I wouldn't recommend doing that unless you're, you know, unless you really think you should. I, I'd have to look at look that up online to see how people deal with that. But I know it is it is used for toothaches, and <laughs> it smells. And uh, then I put a little bit of ground nutmeg in there to round it out. Not as much as the ginger. So it's mostly ginger I'm using. Mostly ginger. Then I put like five or six of these whole cloves in there and let it just do its thing. So it kind of sinks to the bottom, right? Slowly mixes in, you kind of shake it up. And then the, the ground nutmeg is the last and I don't put as much ground nutmeg. Then I kind of let it sit or shake it. Let You want to let it sit so that everything kind of mixes together. And then just drink it and it's really refreshing. I think of it around for like a Christmas drink, but it's for year round for this, for the refuges. And believe me, you're going to want to be regular when you're in the refuge, <laughs> especially if there's a long line to the bathroom. People need to go and not get out of there. <laughs> Hurry up. So the prune juice is going to come in really handy for this. Obviously, you don't want to drink too much or you're going to be running to the bathroom. But um, it will help you for your moods. I know it's really invigorating with all these spices. It's really great for the mood. And it's really nice, uh, nice to have. Um, you can just sip on it. I also recommend uh, if you don't like prune juice to maybe just have a little, a little half a cup at night before you go to bed because you'll feel better in the morning and you don't really have to ha drink that much of it as we know what prune juice is known for. <laughs> May God bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. Amen.